Basketball, one of America's most popular sports. Created in 1891 by Dr. James Naismith, it has become one of the most revolutionary sports of our time. From the early short shorts to the powerful dunks, the game of basketball has turned kids into superfans and ballers into rock stars. Yet, before Stephen Curry was knocking down threes from half court and Diana Taurasi was being nicknamed the White Mamba, the basketball we see today didn't start off this way. In fact, there was no goal, no net, and no orange ball. Instead, it started off with a peach basket and a soccer ball. With round one of the NBA playoffs coming to an end and the WNBA season soon to be underway, I thought it might be fun to explore the evolution of basketball and how far it has come since its fruitful start 131 years ago. In this series, we'll explore the evolution of the game from past to present, on and off the court, from the history of the game to the style of play, down to the fashion, branding, and its global popularity. Let's dive in. Here comes Phoenix with a little juice to Shields, gets Jude Cunningham, cut it! Dr. James A. Naismith, the inventor of basketball. Dr. Naismith, how did you happen to invent basketball? Well, Mr. Heater, it was in the winter of 1891 when I was physical instructor at Springfield College in Massachusetts. We had a real New England blizzard. For days, the students couldn't go outdoors, so they began roughhousing in the halls. We tried everything to keep them quiet. We tried playing a modified form of football in the gymnasium, but they got bored with that. Something had to be done. One day, I had an idea. I called the boys to the gym, divided them up into teams of nine, and gave them an old soccer ball. I showed them two peach baskets I'd nailed up at each end of the gym, and I told them the idea was to throw the ball into the opposing team's peach basket. I blew a whistle, and the first game of basketball began. That voice you hear is a rare recording from 1939 of Dr. James Naismith, credited as the inventor of basketball. Canadian-born, he was raised first by his grandmother, then his uncle Peter, after his parents died when he was nine years old of typhoid. Though he was born in Canada, he would also become an American citizen in 1925. The game of basketball came into inception after Naismith, a physical education teacher at Springfield College, was challenged by Dr. Luther Gullick, the director of physical education, to come up with a game for the restless students to play indoors during the harsh winter months so they could stay conditioned and fill the void between football and baseball season. Naismith took on the challenge and created the game of basketball. To create the game, he gleaned inspiration from a childhood game he would play as a boy called Duck on a Rock. The game went like this. Duck on a Rock. A simple game from the medieval era. One brave man guards a large rock, the duck, while other players throw stones to knock it down. Caruso trying to stick with Clarkson. Offensive Clark inside is fouled. As we know, basketball is a game of rules. When Naismith created basketball, he came up with 13 rules for the players to play that was typed up by his secretary and tacked on the bulletin board. Fun fact, this historical document, written 119 years before it was sold in 2010, was bought for charity for a whopping $4.3 million. One would say, it pays to make the rules after all. The 13 original rules describe how to play the game, as well as how to move the ball and what constituted as a foul. There was an appointed referee for each game. In its inception, there were two teams divided with nine players on the court playing on each side. During the inaugural game, the divided teams each had three centers, three forwards, and three guards. The game was divided into two 15-minute halves with a five-minute resting period in between. The first game of basketball was played on December 21st, 1891, but it didn't start off as Naismith would have intended. And uh, what rules did you have for your new game, Dr. Naismith? Well, I didn't have enough, and that's where I made my big mistake. The boys began tackling, kicking and punching in the clinches. They ended up in a free-for-all in the middle of the gym floor. Before I could pull them apart, one boy was knocked out, several of them had black eyes, and one had a dislocated shoulder. It certainly was murder. <laughs> After 30 minutes of play, the final score was one to zip. The first points of basketball was scored by William R. Chase. Here's Decker's pull up, not a lot of airspace, and it didn't matter. The game would soon take off in popularity and find instant success. By 1905, 
basketball was officially recognized as a permanent winter sport. Dr. Naismith would go on to become the first basketball coach at the University of Kansas, coaching for nine seasons. Ironically, he's the only coach in Jayhawks history to retire with a losing record of 55 and 60. Despite his record as a coach, Naismith's contribution to the sport world will live on forever. His game of basketball has changed the lives of countless athletes and fans all around the world. It is estimated that over 300 million people play the game of basketball today. That's almost about the size of the entire population of the U.S. Not bad for a game that started with two peach baskets. In his honor, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame was established in 1959. Naismith died in 1939 due to a brain hemorrhage. However, the legacy he leaves behind will always be remembered every time the ball goes up. As always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a little something about the origins of the game of basketball. Next episode, we'll talk about the birth of women's basketball down to the creation of the WBA in honor of its 26th season, kicking off on May 6th. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video, comment below your favorite basketball history, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more explorations, discoveries, and truths. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruth, and I'm out. Just happened! Dwayne Wade right at the buzzer!